so even they are getting into the electric vehicle market. And if there was a definite trend this year, it will be toward high-roofed compacts aimed at younger drivers who don't like cookie-cutter mid-sized sedans. Not to be left behind, Kia is also trying to get into that segment with the Soul. We want our customers to share that in that sensation with the freedom to make their, their own soul a personal statement. So we've created a lot of cool accessories for them to personalize their car, more than any other vehicle before, and many of which are on display here today. Even in a tight credit market, some of the luxury brands are rolling out reworks of existing models in hopes of capturing the public's attention, like Lexus did with the RX Standard and Hybrid models. Others, like Infiniti, are going against the grain and offering even more opulence with a convertible version of the G37 sedan. This was also the setting for the newly independent Mazda brand to show off what the 2010 Mazda 3 Compact will look like. And now I'm pleased to announce that Green Car Journal's 2009 Green Car of the Year is Volkswagen's 2009 Jetta TDI. And in a reverse of roles, Volkswagen, which a few years ago was having trouble surviving the North American market, now finds itself the winner of the Green Car of the Year Award for the TDI Jetta, and at the same time, they are the best financed automobile maker in the world, at least for now. By this time next year, the 2008 LA Auto Show might be considered a major turning point in the leadership and direction of the industry. This is Greg Morrison.